Now, this weekend is something of a red letter day in the campaign for equal rights for gay men and women, with the first same sex weddings allowed in England and Wales from midnight on Friday. Nearly half a century since homosexuality was decriminalised, but only a decade since the controversial Section 28 was repealed, many couples are rushing to be among the first to get married. But why? In the latest in our series exploring gay culture in the UK, Katie Razzle has been meeting two couples planning their weddings on Saturday. Their wedding photos will make history, but when these two couples wed on Saturday, they won't have forgotten the struggle that's got them there. Composer Benjamin and his partner Nathan, a musical theatre performer, are getting married on the first day it is legally possible for gay men and lesbians to do so in England and Wales. Theirs, though, will be a marriage with a difference. They've written it as a musical that will be broadcast on TV. People say, you know, we're so camp, isn't it, to get married in a musical. Actually, the campest thing you can do as a straight man is to get married. <laughs> Surround yourself by all those kind of trappings and all the silly balloons pastels. and the kind of pastel colours and the, and the ties on the backs of chairs. Which is not to say that if that's what people genuinely want for their weddings, oh, it's, that they should have it. It's lovely, but it's, it's not camp. what we want. It's camp. That's, oh. the, that's the full score. That's yeah. the piano vocal for Ben. Violin one. Their musical numbers include a duet from their mothers about coming to terms with their sons coming out. It's only been 25 years, but the Britain they grew up in had very different attitudes to being gay. In the 80s, campaigners marched against clause later Section 28. It prevented local authorities actively promoting homosexuality, effectively banning discussion in the classroom. My teacher said to me, we knew what was happening to you. We knew what you were going through and we couldn't do anything. That's it was, what Clause 28 meant to us at the time and to... And, to and add to that, kids. you know, the, the, these frightened... I was frightened. You know, I thought if I had sex with a man, I'd die. And that's just... I mean, that just shouldn't be... That shouldn't be something that, that any young kid should go through. You know, the whole sense that, you know, walking down the street and people spitting at me because then they called, they called me gay before I knew what gay meant. Roy Jenkins decriminalised homosexuality between men over 21 in 1967. So the 47 years from that most fundamental step towards gay rights to same-sex marriage has been fairly swift, though hard fought. Civil partnerships followed the introduction of an equal age of consent and now full marriage equality is a legacy of the Cameron Coalition. I don't know who persuaded David Cameron to, to move to gay marriage. It definitely wasn't me. Uh, if he'd asked me, I would have said, really? Already, David? You know, this is a, you're going to cause a huge amount of fuss in the Conservative Party. Gay people will be quite pleased, but they, they may not realise just, just what a big thing it is. Of course, in many parts of the world, it's a different story if you're gay. Hence this recent demonstration in London against Uganda's treatment of homosexuals. In the crowd, Peter McGraith, who will marry his partner just after midnight tomorrow in the hope they will be first. And we'll be doing the midnight ceremony here. Peter and David will wed at London's Islington Town Hall in front of their children, family and friends. There's a lot of people out there who are not invited to the party, as I would say, uh, gay men and lesbians who have nothing yet to celebrate, but I really hope that that they hear about what's happening here and realise that change might be on the way and get some strength to try and do something. Um, is that realistic about... though? I, I think it is realistic. Obviously these things do take time. Look at where we've come, even in this country, over the last 20, 30 years. So yes, equality in the eyes of the law is finally here. But for some, that's not without its downsides. I've got to admit, I slightly dread the gay weddings. I do beg gay people with civil partnerships, don't feel you have to have another ceremony for the upgrade. J just write off to the local authority, <laughs> pay, the, pay the fee, take the certificate, and perhaps take a few friends out to dinner. Please, no, no, more, no more black ties, no, no more, uh, no more after-dinner speeches, no more dancing. Matthew Paris ending that report by Katie Razzle.